Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. You know, we all eat traditional pizza and the round stuff, so I decided to make this giant slice of pizza. And it's going to be just delicious. You can add your own ingredients. I've just gone with three basics. But let me show you how to do this, and let's get started. So to kick things off here, what I've got is a can of, or a tube of Pillsbury pizza crust. You can buy this in just about any grocery store, or you can make it from scratch, and I'll put a link below. Give it the old slam, and there you have it, it's open. So I'm gonna spray the biggest pan I have, because it's a giant slice. Or you can use vegetable oil, olive oil, and you know, just kind of brush it on. Now I'm going to unroll it. Then form it into a giant triangle, like a pizza slice. Just beautify this as much as you can. And this looks great. Now the packet's instructions say bake this at 400 degrees F, uh, about 200 C, for about eight minutes. And if you're doing this from scratch, you don't have to bother with this step. Watch our video on homemade pizza rolls or homemade pizza. I'll put a link below. Okay, after about eight minutes, I'm gonna start adding my toppings. Starting with my pizza sauce, and I'm just gonna kinda spread this around. And of course, as always, you can use the toppings of your choice. You can use mushrooms, pepperoni, pepper, pineapple, onions, tomatoes, olives, whatever you like. But I'm just gonna keep this fairly basic. Maybe you can let us know what your favorite toppings are. Just drop a comment below. I don't know about you guys, but I like lots of sauce. By the way, how do you fix a broken pizza? With tomato paste. <laughs> Next up, everybody's all-time favorite, mozzarella. And I put this in a cloth because it doesn't become watery. And I find if you don't do this, it does become watery. So we're gonna go ahead and add this onto our pizza. And I'm gonna be pretty generous with this. Last but not least, everybody's all-time favorite, some pepperoni. I just love pepperoni. Oops, I dropped a piece. And he's like a crocodile. <laughs> what a guy. Now I'm going to slip this back into the oven and bake it until it's hot and bubbly. This is going to be gorgeous. After about six minutes, the cheese is beautifully melted, and there you have it, our enormous, delicious slice of pizza. So let's give this a taste test. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I think I'm just going to lift it and take a bite. Mmm. It's so good for three ingredients. It's crunchy. I love the taste, the extra sauce, just incredible. You've got to try this. For the full scoop on this recipe and suggestions, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool stuff over there. Have a great day. Thanks for subscribing, and see you later.